Hi guys, my Cookies and Games here, um, and today we're going to be working on map boundaries as well as um, changing the different map boundaries when you have multiple um, boundaries on your map. So let's begin, I guess. So you want to be in F2 mode when you're changing the map boundaries. You can also do this um, while you've got a mission loaded. So let's go actually go ahead and do that this way. You see that. So I've already got a mission prepared. So we've got a sky dome on there, skybox. So you want to go back into F2 mode. You want to click on uh, this one, which is called Clip. You want to click on Show Map Borders, and as you can see, these are your map borders. All right. The yellow line is for the fog, so um, the fog that hides the map border or the map edge. The blue line is the camera. Now you want this one fairly close to the yellow one because if you turn on clip camera position, what that means is it clips your camera to the boundaries um, and it clips it to the blue line. So the blue line is your camera. I cannot go past that as you can see. Okay, um, But if you turn that off, we can go as far as we want. And the pink one or purple one, whatever, you're, whatever you guys call it, um, is your reinforcements one. So you want this either on the border or off. Okay, so this allows you to spawn units in the fog, like here. Um, if you were to have this, if I click on auto, and that one shouldn't be there. Don't know why it was still there. If you have, if you grab this one and put it here, you cannot spawn any units behind here. Right? Only in front. Um, the only way you'll get units here is if they leave the map. So if the units are coming from here and moving to here, that's the only way it will work. Okay, so make sure you just have this here. All right, cool. And just one real quick triggers. No, there's no triggers. Cool, cool beans. So quickly just say that. Now that's auto. That's automatically um, updated. You don't want to delete this one. Um, this is your base preset. Uh, so whenever, whenever you make a map, um, and you make the map bigger by using the polygons tool or whatever, or smaller, the next time you load your map, the auto preset will then adjust itself to the map. Okay, cool. Uh, and the only way you can move these is if you go around. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult to try and get it sometimes, but the cursor will turn green and then you can move it. Right? A little bit of a, a game there trying to figure out the... Uh, where it is, but if you go like this, it usually, yeah, it's not too bad. Anyway, so we're going to come here, add, we're going to call this clip one. We're going to click on it. Make sure you click on it. That allows you to then drag this. So let's say I only want to want the beach front to, to be seen. I don't want the rest of the map to be seen. So we're going to bring that down. We're going to bring that to about there. And that can stay there again. Um, you can stay there. It's not really that important. Okay. Now you want to do this for all sides. So obviously this is fine. I don't want to change that. I don't want to change that because I want to see the water. And I'm, that's fine. We only have to change this one. Okay. So now if I go to... If I click on it. There you go. Now you can see... So how I did that is I just clicked on it. You can just click on it and then press F1. Click on it. Press F1. And there you go. So as you can see, we can only see this part of the map. And if you have a mini map, uh, like an image, it will actually crop this out. So as you can see, we can only see this would be the beachfront, this image here. Um, so the mini map gets smaller to fit the uh, the zone that you've made. Um, and I will show you how to do mini maps, maybe in in another in the next video or something like that. Uh, it's quite easy. Um, yeah. But, say you have your... like this. Actually, no. Say you have it on the clip one, and you've completed all the objectives that are here, right? So you've reached... let's say you've reached this point here, up this ramp, and you need the rest of the map to show. This is how you do it. So you want to come into triggers. Let's just change... just call this clip. 
click on it, go to commands, and you want to go to scene, set clip, and click on auto because we only that's you know that's going to display the whole map. Um, and we'll put a delay just so we can I can show you. Now you can use events. Obviously, you're not you're going to use an event. You know, once the player or a, a zone, once the player enters the zone, the rest of the map will show. Um, but for this tutorial, I don't, I'm not going to show you how you do that. You guys should know how to use all that stuff now. We've done it quite a bit now. Other videos, um, for instance, the beach landings. Go check them out. I explain it quite well. So cool. That's all done. So we're going to click start. And after two seconds, two seconds is pretty quick. So let's actually just change it. But you can see how it opened up the rest of the map. Let's go here, clip. Let's just set it to delay of five. And it keeps opening up. Oh. There's always complications. <laughs> Nothing can go right. Um, okay, let's just change it. I don't know, maybe it's because it's on the auto preset. So if we change that to that, go here and change this to clip one. So, there you go, there you go, it's changed. Um, for some reason, and sometimes it doesn't work on the first go, you have to actually run it, and then, I don't know, it's really weird. Okay, so there you go, it works. Um, I'm not sure why. So it worked before. I'm not sure why it was, uh, like, skipping the delay or whatever, I'm not sure. Um, but you can see it working. And yeah, that's pretty much the end of this tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. This is quite useful for making your missions. Um, it's also really good for optimizing your missions uh, because everything's behind the fog. So yeah, really good for that as well. And um, yeah, uh, and just remember to turn uh, click off show borders. You don't want to see that because it's annoying. Um, and that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, next video may be mini maps. We'll see. Put it in the comments below if you'd like to see that next. Um, anyway, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.